Hey, everybody, roll out your mats. You are watching Pure Yoga TV. Your number one source for hot yoga, fitness, at home, and on the go. Want more of these great videos? Please consider donating and supporting our channel. Look at the link down below in our description, pureyogatv.com forward slash patron. Like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell so you never miss a video. Enjoy. Hello everyone, my name is Brooke. We're going to do the 26 and 2 series today. I'm going to introduce you to the breathing exercises and the postures, and it's going to be a lot of fun. This series is suitable for any age, any size. All you need is, um, you know, a couple feet of space and a good attitude. Let's start with Pranayama breathing, deep breathing. It is good for the lungs and good for the respiratory system. Bring your toes and heels together to touch each other. Interlock your fingers and put them underneath your chin. Knuckles against the chin throughout the breathing exercise. Swallow a couple times, shift the body weight a little bit more into your heels and begin. Inhale, Keep the chin parallel to the floor. Reach your elbows up towards the ceiling. Put gentle focus in the stomach to help you fill your lungs more. Exhale, push the head up and gently push the head back. Knuckles push against the chin. Eyes open, eyes looking behind you, elbows touch. Inhale. With every breath that you take, try to take in more air than you did the last time. Fill your lungs more. Exhale, head up. Gently push the head back. Make, make an H-A ha sound using your throat, elbows touch. Inhale through the nose, but using your throat. You're creating internal heat in your body, full lungs. Exhale, head up. Gently push the head back. Push the knuckles against the chin. Make an H-A ha sound, elbows touch. Inhale, take your time. Depression of the abdominal wall, the rib cage expands. Fill your lungs even more. Exhale. Use your throat. Empty lungs. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five. Six, hold it. Inhale, try to keep your spine perfectly straight. Body weight into the heels, a little bit pressing the feet into the floor to grow taller. Exhale, head up, gently push the head back. Look with your eyes as if you're going to see the floor behind you, elbows touch. Inhale, last three breaths, take your time. Use your strength to inhale more air. Exhale, knuckles against the chin, shoulders nice and relaxed, hips, muscles solid, empty lungs. Inhale, towards the end, try to take the biggest, the deepest, the fullest breath so far. Exhale, shoulders relaxed, elbows come forward, push more air out. Inhale, the last one. Take your time. Use your strength. Inhale, more air. Exhale. Knuckles against the chin, shoulders relaxed, hips forward, empty lungs. Change arms down by your side. Try to be still and breathe in and out through the nose, in between. We start the asanas with half moon pose with hands to feet pose. Toes and heels together. Inhale, arms over your head sideways, hands, palms together. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, cross your thumbs. Get a nice tight grip. Don't lose this grip. Your hands, palms are touching each other like glue all the way up to your wrists. Put the body weight into your heels, hips forward, arms back. Inhale, reach out of your waist, touch the ceiling, bend your body right and left several times. Right, left, right, left, right, left. 
You're creating tremendous stretching feeling down both sides of your body, all the way up to your fingertips. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling in between. When you cannot stretch up anymore, stop in the middle. Lock your elbows, arms glued with your ears. Put the body weight into your heels, hips forward, gentle focus in the stomach, stomach pulling in to support your spine. Inhale, reach up out of your waist, touch the ceiling, absolutely straight line, slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to left beyond your flexibility. Create tremendous stretching feeling from bones to skin, inside out, fingertips to your toes. Put the body weight into your heels, left hip forward so that both hips are in one line. Right shoulder forward to open up your chest. Reach out of your waist. Make sure that you can breathe easy in and out through your nose. Push your hips to the left, come down to your maximum. Hold it for a moment in stillness with normal breathing, always through the nose. Inhale, breathing, come up. Stop in the middle. Reset, put the body weight into your heels. Pull in the center point of your body nice and strong. Inhale, reach up, lock your elbows more. Bend your body to the left without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. Create tremendous stretching feeling down the right side of your body. All over, inside out, bones to skin, fingertips to your toes. Put the body weight into the heels, bring the right hip forward, both hips in one line. Left shoulder forward, open up your chest and your rib cage. Reach out of your waist, arms strong. Stomach in, support the spine, push your both hips to the right, come down, push. Breathe as you push. Hold in stillness for a moment with your normal breathing. Inhale, come up, stop in the middle. Next is backward bending. Your, your back might be a little bit uncomfortable, don't be scared. Inhale, reach up, touch the ceiling, relax your head back. Look for the floor behind you. Inhale, reach up, touch the ceiling, lock your elbows, pull your arms back. Trace a line against the ceiling. Someday you'll trace a line down the wall behind you. Make sure maximum body weight is in the heels. The heels are your anchor. Inhale, lift your heart up to touch the ceiling. Push your stomach, legs, hips, everything. Push forward, pull your arms back, reach back, breathe back. Go back. When you reach your maximum expression, the butt muscles contract to help hold you there with stability. Inhale, breathing, come up. Stop in the middle. Bend your knees, pull in the center point, bend your body down from the lower spine, place your hands on the floor and gently move your hips out. Right, left, right, left. With both heels on the floor, you can start to loosen up the hips and the lower spine. Do a little shake, a little wiggle, whatever movement feels nice for you here. Padahastasana. Bend your knees, grab your heels from behind. Step on all five fingers of each hand. The little baby fingers touch each other, the elbows go behind the legs. Get a nice, tight, compact grip. Pull on the heels to stretch your body down. From the lower spine towards the floor. Make a sandwich between your upper body and your legs. Stomach on the thighs, chest on the knees, face on the legs below the knees. From the side, there's no room, no gap anywhere. Continuously keep pulling on the heels, pull on the heels. Gently push your upper body against the legs to push your knees back. Try to straighten your legs someday to lock your knees. Roll the body weight forward into the toes. Continuously keep pulling, continuously keep breathing. Pull in the stomach, lengthen through the lower spine, pull. Push your knees back. If your legs are straight or almost straight, Contract your quadricep muscles to lock your knees. Inhale, breathing, come up. 
arms and head together. Gently arms down by your side. Be still, focus forward, breathe normally in and out through the nose. Awkward pose, you're warming up the big muscles in the legs. Step your right foot to the right, hip width distance inside your toes and inside your heels. The heels invisible behind the toes. Looks like you're standing on a number 11. Arms up, parallel to the floor. All five fingers together, stretch forward as if you are going to touch what's in front of you. Lock your elbows, tricep muscles, nice, tight, contracted. Exhale, breathing, pull your stomach in, hold it in, sit your hips into a chair. Sit all the way down, hips in the chair, as long as your knees and your hips allow you to do that. Sit all the way down. Then lift your chest up. Bend your total spine backward bending. Focus forward, pull in the stomach. Stomach in, rib cage becoming visible in front of you. Open your knees, keep six inches inside your toes, heels, knees, hands, chest up, chin up. Lean back as if you are going to fall down backwards. Inhale, breathing, come up, stop in the middle. Second part takes tremendous focus. Focus one point in front of you, come up high on your toes, maximum like a ballerina. Suck your stomach in, stretch your spine, chest, head. Everything lifts up towards the ceiling. Imagine I'm gently pulling your hair up towards the ceiling. Sit down on top of the toes, spine straight position. Hips and head are touching an imaginary wall behind you, spine straight. Come down until your hips touch the chair. Keep pushing your heels forward, heels up, knees up, stomach in, upper body leaning back, come up higher on the toes, hips in the chair, but not below the chair. Inhale, breathing, come up. Focus forward, breathe. Come up a little bit on the toes, bring your knees together. Keep the knees together, stomach in, spine straight. Imagine your hips and the back of your head are touching the wall behind you and slowly lower down the wall. Knees together, arms strong, come all the way down, half inch gap off your heels. Knees together, press them forward, stomach in, spine perfectly straight. If you feel secure, if you feel supported, you can bounce a couple of times. Hold it. Use your inhale breath to help you come up the wall. Feet back together. Arms down side. Allow the posture to soak in. Be still. Breathe. Ego pose, Valrasana. Opening up the 14 major joints of the body, seven on each side. Identify your arms, right from left. Inhale your arms over your head. Bring the right arm underneath the left arm. Cross your arms, twist them like ropes. Hands, palms in front of your face. Thumbs towards your face, little baby fingers towards the front mirror. If you're unable to bring your hands, palms together, you can interlock your fingers. Pull your elbows down. Fingertips go below the nose someday. Exhale, breathing, sit your hips into the chair. Sit low, lean your upper body back. Right leg as high as possible over the left. Cross your legs, twist them like ropes. Bring the right foot underneath the left calf muscle. If you're unable to bring the foot underneath the calf muscle, point the foot in the direction you want it to go. Set that intention for yourself. Sit down low. Twist your arms and legs against each other like ropes. Pull your elbows down, suck your stomach in, lean your upper body back. Change. Bring your arms over your head, left arm underneath the right arm. Cross your arms, twist them like ropes. Hands, palms in front of your face, thumbs towards your face, little baby fingers in front of you. Pull your elbows down, loosen up the shoulders, and the upper spine. Suck your stomach in, sit your hips into the chair. Lean your upper body back, no collapsing. Left leg as high as possible over the right leg. 
Cross your legs, twist them like ropes. This posture is the first posture balancing on one leg. It opens up the 14 major joints of the skeleton. It prepares you for the rest of the balancing postures in this series. Sit down as low as you can. Pull your elbows down. Suck your stomach in. Lean your upper body back. Change. Arms over your head. And arms down side. That was the warm up. Please take a, a sip of water if you need it. And we'll move on with the rest of the standing series. Now we'll move on to the balancing series, starting with standing head to knee. Remember that these balancing postures are very difficult. Um, it's difficult for everyone to balance on one leg. So remember that we use the standing leg as our foundation. So I like to think about the standing leg, the muscles in the standing leg sort of as anti-gravity. You're lifting all the muscles up. You're engaging the glute muscle. You're pulling in the center point of your body, everything lifted up and supported. Let's start with standing head to knee. Shift your body weight to your left leg. Wipe your hands if you need to. Interlock your fingers and pick up the right foot. Hold the right foot two inches below the toes with your 10 finger interlocked grip. Concentrate deeply on your foundation. Feel the kneecap lift up. Contract the quadricep muscle. Engage your butt muscle. Pull the belly in. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently. Lift your right leg up. If at any point you feel the left leg unstable, go back and lock the knee. Take a deep breath, kick the heel forward as if you are going to kick what's in front of you. Try to flex all five toes back towards your face. Keep kicking until your both knees are locked. When your both knees are locked, bend your elbows down next to the calf muscle. Eventually your elbows will touch and go below the calf muscle. Change, reverse out, coming out of the postures the exact opposite way that you entered them. Stand still for a moment and breathe. Shift your body weight to the right leg. Wipe your hands, interlock your fingers. Pick up the left foot. Hold the left foot two inches below the toes, 10 finger interlocked grip. Make your foundation solid. Body weight distributed equally across the foot. Kneecap lifting up. Lock the knee. Inhale, breathing, left leg lifts up. Stretch it forward until it is parallel, not higher, not lower, with your standing leg absolutely solid. Take a deep breath, press the heel forward. Flex your toes back towards your face. If you can create cramping sensations on your thighs, then only bend your elbows down. Eventually your elbows will touch and go below the calf muscle. Change. Stand still, breathe. As an optional practice, you can place your hands to your hips and give yourself a half second backward bend. Standing bow pulling. Bring your right hand up palm facing up, elbow touching your body. Imagine you're holding money in your hand. Don't turn your hand so that you don't drop your money. Turn your hand to the right, grab the right foot from the inside at the ankle with all five fingers together. Left arm up, chin close to the shoulder. Bring your knees together, lock your standing knee. Inhale, full lungs. Charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick the right leg back and up behind you. Bring your body down from your lower spine until your abdomen and chest are parallel to the floor. Continuously kick the right leg back and up. See the foot come up over the top of your head or maybe feel the foot come over the top of your head if you don't have a mirror. Continuously stretch your fingertips forward. 
move the shoulder blade and scapulae out of your body. Kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous, 50-50. Body down more, stretch forward more, touch what's in front of you, kick back, kick harder, kick up one more time. Change. Be still, allow the posture and all of its benefits to soak into your body. Bring your left hand up. Imagine you're holding money in your left hand. Turn your left hand to the left, grab your left foot from the inside at your ankle with your all five fingers together. Right arm up, chin close to the shoulder, knees together, standing leg locked. Inhale, full lungs, charge your body forward. Simultaneously kick. Be sure that your standing leg is solid to support you. Bring your body down, body down. will activate the cardiovascular benefits. Stretch your fingertips forward. Move the shoulder blade out of your body. Someday your two shoulders will be in one line. Kicking and stretching equal and simultaneous 50-50. Now body down more. Stretch more forward, kick back, kick up, kick, stretch, breathe, change. Stand still, breathe. Next is balancing stick to Lindandasana. This posture is only 10 seconds. The moment you step forward, make up your mind to use your 100% strength in half a second. Inhale your arms over your head, interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Get a nice, tight grip. The right leg steps forward a big step. Lock your right knee, lift the left toes off the floor, lock your left knee, come down, whole body comes parallel to the floor. From the side, you look like a capital letter T. Push the floor away from your right foot. You're holding your whole body's weight on one leg. Make it strong. Stomach in. Pull your body apart. Stretch. Change. Arms of your head. Keep the chest lifted and chin lifted. Airways open. Left leg forward. Lock your both knees. Lift off the back toe. Come down whole body. Arms, body, head, legs parallel to the floor. Try to look like a capital letter T rather than a broken umbrella. Allow the chest to come down. Lift the arms up. You are flooding your heart muscle with extra blood, making it stronger. Stretch. Change. Arms over your head. Arms downside. Be still. Focus forward. Breathe. Standing separate leg series. Toes and heels together. Standing separate legs stretching. Arms over your head sideways. Step your right foot out to the right. A big step. At the same time, arms down parallel to the floor. Two heels are in the same line. Turn your big toes in. Slightly pitch until your feet. Lift up on your kneecaps. Thigh muscles strong. Stomach in. Lift your rib cage. Bend your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Keep the chin forward, looking forward, and your both knees locked. Grab your heels from behind. If you're unable to grab your heels, grab the outsides of the feet. Get the best grip you can today. Lock your knees, kneecaps lifting up, and pull. Pull to stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Keep rolling the body weight forward with your both knees locked. Your knees are locked so that the back side of your legs can open and stretch. Your stomach is pulling in so that the hips and the lower spine can stretch. You're pulling with your arms to someday create 360 degree angle stretching. 
from the coccyx through the heels, and from the coccyx through the top of the head, pull, roll the body weight forward, touch your forehead on the floor in between your feet. Change. Bring your feet back together and arms down side. Be still. Allow that posture to soak into your body. Triangle pose, Trigonasana, the marriage between your heart and your lungs. Toes and heels together, arms over your head sideways. Right leg slips out to the right, a big step. Arms down parallel to the floor. Push your hips forward. You're opening your hips and pelvis. Lean your upper body back, opening the chest and the rib cage. Turn your right foot out. Right foot parallel to the long edge of your mat. Bend your right knee. Bounce if you need to, to open a hip joint. We bounce when we're opening a joint rather than a muscle. Hips forward, arms back, open up your chest, straighten your spine in the center. Inhale, breathing, fill your lungs, move your both arms. Bring your right elbow to the right knee, right fingertips down between big and second toe. No weight, no pressure against the floor. Turn the chin to the left shoulder. The profile of your face visible from the side mirror. You can even relax for a moment. See if that helps you place your chin to your shoulder. Take a deep breath, stretch up, try to touch the ceiling. Stretch down, touch the toes. Pull your arms apart like a natural human tug of war. Bring the left hip down and forward, left leg solid. Push the right knee back, stretch up, turn and twist your upper body back. Change. Right toes in and left toes out. Bend your left knee. Remember, you can bounce to open a joint. Big hip joint. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Sit down low enough. Hips forward. Arms back. Open your chest. Inhale, move your both arms. Left elbow against left knee. Left fingertips down between big and second toe. No weight. No pressure against the floor. Turn your head, chin to the shoulder. Make sure that you are always breathing. Feel the both heels solid into the floor. Hips forward, belly in. Stretch up, touch the ceiling. Stretch down, touch the toes. Right hip down and forward. Push the left knee back. Turn and twist your upper body back. Change. Left toes in. Feet back together. Arms down side. Breathe. Be still for a moment. Standing, separate leg, head to knee. Inhale, arms of your head. Palms together, thumbs crossed. Stretch up all the way. The more you stretch up, the closer your palms will come together, loosening up your shoulders. Step your right foot to the right, a big step, 36 inches. Turn on your heels to face your right leg. Left leg solid, left heel pressing into the floor, left foot at a 45 degree angle. Two hips in one line, stretch up, try to exhale all the way down. Tuck your chin into your chest, look at your chest. Suck your stomach in, touch your forehead to your knee. Now, if you need to, you can separate your hands and bend your knee so that your forehead and knee touch. You wanna try to be sure to touch your forehead to your knee. Walk your hands out beyond the toes. Maybe hands, palms into prayer if you can. Throat choked, eyes open. Breathing normal. Bring the maximum body weight into your right leg so the right hip lifts up towards the ceiling. Very quickly, lock your knee. Inhale, come up. Arms and head together. 
Release the chin last. Turn on your heels. Face the left leg. Widen the step a little bit. We tend to shorten as we turn. Bring the right hip forward. Press the right heel into the floor. Right knee locked the whole time. That's your stable leg. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, round in. Tuck your chin. Notice if you can exhale the whole way down. Touch your forehead to your left knee. The next inhale breath you take, try to inhale into the back side of your rib cage. Your stomach is in, your throat is choked. Still, you have plenty of space to breathe. Bring the maximum body weight into your left leg so the left hip lifts up towards the ceiling. Very quickly, a couple times, lock your left knee. Inhale, breathing belly in, come up. Take your time, inner thighs, pelvic floor, belly in helps you to keep stability. Turn on your heels, feet back together, arms downside, tree pose, Tadasana. Bring your right leg up with the help of the left hand. You can even use both hands. I like to close the knee joint, place the heel near the belly button, and gently allow the right knee to come down. The goal of tree pose in this series is to create movement in the hip joint. So long as your knee feels safe, stretch the right knee down to open through the hip joint. Bring your right hand up to the center of your chest. Bring your left hand up, palms together, namaskar. If you need to, just simply hold the foot. Keep your eyes open. Press down through the left foot. Grow taller through the crown of your head. Be still. Change. Right leg down. Lift your left leg up. You can use one hand or both hands. Lift it up all the way. Place the heel very close to your belly button. Gently allow your left knee to come down. Push your hips forward. Pull in the center point. Stretch your spine towards the ceiling. Bring your left hand up to the center of your chest. Right hand up, palms together, namaskar. If you need to, simply hold the foot. This is a hip opening posture. Focus, be still, breathe, change. Right leg down. Next posture is toe stand. Go as far as you can with the words. If you ever feel your body stopping, you can still imagine your body moving through the words. That helps your brain to make the connections to your body. Right leg up. The higher, the better over time. But as a beginner, you can allow the leg to come in the middle of the thigh if that feels more comfortable. Bring your hands, palms into prayer. Gently bend your body down. Keep the left leg straight, hinging from the hips. Gentle focus in the belly to keep you supported. When your hands touch the floor, place body weight into the hands to safely bend your knee and sit down on the heel. Walk your hands out to either side of the hips, balancing on your fingertips. Stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. If you have the stability, left hand up, right hand up, lift up, half inch gap off your heel. Change, gently come up. Remember to come up the exact opposite way that you went in. Gently, right leg down. Lift your left leg up. Bring it to the center of your thigh where it feels comfortable for you today. Hands, palms in front of your chest. Namaskar. 
Gently bend your body down. When your fingertips touch the floor, put the body weight into your hands. Bend your knee, sit down on your heel. Walk your hands out to either side of the fingertips. Try to use so much stomach that your spine lengthens up towards the ceiling. Left hand, center the chest. Right hand, palms together. Be still, breathe, change. Come out the opposite way that you went in. Relax the left foot. Please acknowledge your hard work. Turn around, lie down, and relax on your back. This is Savasana. Heels are together. Toes fall open. Palms facing up. Arms close to your body. Keep your eyes open and you're breathing normal. This is unrestricted belly breathing. We often compress the abdomen in our postures. This is your chance to have unrestricted belly breath. As you inhale, let the belly rise. As you exhale, let the belly fall. Try to let go of any thoughts that you don't need in this moment. Be still. Breathe. Next is wind removing pose. Lift your right leg up, hold the right leg two inches below the knee, not too high, not too low. We don't wanna grab on the kneecap. 10 fingers interlocked grip, nice and strong. Pull the knee out, around and towards your shoulder, then pull down. You wanna avoid the rib cage and then pull down using your bicep strength. Tuck your chin to your chest. Someday the back of your neck, relaxing to the floor. Pull using your arm strength. Breathe into the pressure you create in the right side abdomen. Change. Right leg down, arms down. Left leg lifts up, hold the left leg two inches below the knee. Ten finger interlocked grip. Pull the knee out, around towards your shoulder. This one helps us to practice the 10 finger, white knuckle, strong grip. Pull the knee towards your shoulder. Tuck your chin to your chest. Someday, neck flat on the floor. Pull using your bicep strength. Pull, freeze, breathe into the compression. You are giving your internal organs a gentle massage in this posture. Very good for digestion and elimination. Change left leg down. Your both legs lift up. Grab your elbows over the knees. Nice, tight, compact grip. If you're unable to get your elbows today, get your very best compact grip. Relax your shoulders down. Look towards your knees with your eyes. Someday, the whole spine will relax flat to the floor. Gentle pressure with the knees against one another and with the knees against the elbow. This is passive activation in the belly. Change. Feet together, toes fall open, palms facing up. Wind removing pose prepares us to lie on the belly for the spine strengthening series. 
Next is a strong sit-up. Listen very carefully. Bring your toes and heels together. Flex the toes back towards your face. Arms over your head, thumbs crossed, palms facing up. Tuck your chin slightly, pull the belly in. Keep the belly engaged, inhale, sit up. Grab your toes, double jerk, forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for a spine strengthening series. Lie down on your stomach for Cobra Pose Bhujangasana. Chin on the towel, hands underneath your shoulders, very close to your chest. There's a little space under your shoulder blade that your hands fit perfectly. Try to bring all five fingers together and press the entire palm into the floor. Notice if part of the hand starts to come up and try to push it down. Toes and heels together. Make your legs solid like a cobra tail. Inhale, breathing, look up and lift up. Come up until your elbows are at a 90 degree angle. It looks like a rectangle. If you're unable to get a 90 degree angle with your back strength, use your hands a little bit. Legs solid, palms on the floor. Try to touch your elbows to your hips to bring your shoulders down. Look up, chest up, lift up, breathe. Change. Release your arms by your side. Look to the right. Place your left ear on the towel. This is Savasana on the stomach. The big toes touch. The heels fall open. Palms facing up. Eyes open. Focus on the edge of your mat and towel. Nice and simple. Breathe. We focused on the lower spine with Cobra. We move to the upper spine with Locust Pose, Salabhasana. Arms straight position. Bring your arms underneath your body, palms facing the floor. Little baby fingers touch, the rest of the fingers spread out wide. If this is too much for you, you can bring your arms to the side of your body. Be sure that the inside of your elbows touches the floor. Turn on the towel, chin forward, look forward, relax the left, stretch the right back, inhale, lift your right leg up. Try to make your right leg solid. This is a good posture to notice your alignment. Bottom of the foot faces up towards the ceiling, make the leg solid, lift it up, change right leg down, left leg solid, concrete. One piece, left leg lift up, lock the knee, point and toes. Press the left fingertips against the floor, shift the body weight forward, lift your leg up, change. Turn your head in, mouth on the towel. Readjust your hands, grab the floor with your fingertips. Inhale, breathing, lift your both legs up. Everybody go up, come up. Imagine you're rolling your body weight over your arms and into your shoulders. Lift your legs up, change. Release your arms, look to the right, left ear to the towel. We practice 100% effort in the posture and 100% stillness in Savasana.
locus pose, Purna Salvasana, full locus pose. Arms outside like airplane wings. Keep your five fingers together. Chin forward on the towel. Toes and heels together. Legs are solid, concrete one piece. We're going to lift the whole body using the middle spine. Inhale, breathing, fill your lungs, look up and lift up like a 747, taking off arms up, arms back. Fingertips in the same level as the top of your head. Someday only the hip bones touch the floor. Legs solid, look up, chest up, lift up. Change. Arms by your side. Look to the left. Look to the right. The left ear on the towel. You can try to place your entire ear, giving yourself a passive stretch on either side of your neck. Next is bow pose, Dhanurasana. Chin on the towel, hold your feet from the outside, two inches below the toes. If you have something that's not allowing you to grab the feet, you can try bringing the knee up towards your arm, foot up and grab the foot that way. Or you can try one foot at a time. Straighten your wrists. Inhale, breathing. Kick your both legs back and up. This is a continuous kick. You're always looking up and kicking up. To continuously kick, you must continuously breathe. Your belly is on the floor. You have plenty of space to breathe into the chest. Keep six inches inside your knees. A little bit of activation of the inner thighs helps you to use the muscles in your spine. Look up, try to see the toes behind you, kick up. Change. Look to the left, place your right ear on the towel. The whole series uses the muscles in your spine. So very good for you. Give yourself a push up. Come to the top of your space for fixed firm pose, Supta Vajrasana. Sit down, kneeling down position. From kneeling down position, separate your feet to sit in between the heels. If this is too much for your knees, you may open the knees. Never allow the knees to come off the floor. Always trust and respect what your body is telling you. If this is enough, or maybe holding yourself up with your hands is enough, Stay there and allow yourself to breathe. When your hips are on the floor, place your hands to the feet and come back one elbow at a time. Right elbow, left elbow, head, back of the head, shoulders relaxed to the floor. Bring your arms over your head, grab your elbows, pull your elbows down. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Your stomach and chest lift up towards the ceiling. Keep your eyes open. Breathing always normal. You can practice breathing into the front side of your body. Neck spine on the floor. The rest of the spine backward bending. Place your hands to your feet. Come up with the help of your elbows. Try not to twist and turn on the way up. 
come out the exact opposite way, turn around, relax on your back. 20 seconds of stillness and unrestricted belly breathing. Back to the energizing sit-ups. Toes and heels together, flex your feet. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Inhale, breathing, sit up. Forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for half tortoise. Sit down, kneeling down position in the center of your space. No gap underneath your ankles. Hips on the heels, heels together to touch if you can. Arms over your head sideways, palms together. Make this setup like your setup for half moon. Belly in, stretching your arms up, trying to traction out of your waist like you're gonna touch the ceiling. Keep the chin away from your chest, stomach in, come down. Slowly, someday your belly is gonna be so strong that you'll come down with a straight spine. That's okay if it's not today, it takes time. Forehead on the floor, little baby fingers on the floor. Walk your hands more forward. This is shoulder blades and scapulae coming out of your body. With the forehead on the floor, gently lower the hips back down to the heels. Eyes open, breathing normal. This is mimicking the effects of an inversion, the head just slightly below the heart, sending oxygen and nutrients to your brain. Inhale, breathing, come up with a straight spine. Arms down by your side, turn around, relax on your back. Allow unrestricted belly breathing. It's very nourishing to allow your belly to rise and fall with your breath. Toes and heels together, flex your feet. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Again, tuck the chin, pull the belly in, touch the lower spine to the floor. Inhale, keep the belly in as you sit up. Grab your toes, double jerk forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. If ever you have a sensitive lower back, it is perfectly okay to skip the sit-ups. Camel pose, Ustrasana, stand up on your knees. Six inches hip width distance inside your knees and inside your feet. Place your hands to your hips, thumbs on the outside, fingers facing down. Inhale, breathing, fill your lungs all the way. Push your hips forward, drop your head back, go back halfway and stop there. It is always okay to stay wherever your deepest backward bend is for the day and breathe there. If you're ready, right hand to the right heel, left hand to the left heel, get a full hands, palms grip. Take a deep breath, push your stomach, legs, hips, everything pushes forward towards the front mirror. Continuously keep pushing, continuously keep breathing. Make sure that you can feel the breath moving in and out through your posture. As you inhale, think about lifting your heart to touch the ceiling. As you exhale, relax the forehead. Look for the mat and the toes behind you. Push your hips forward. Hands to your hips, push your hips forward. Straighten your spine, head up last. 
Release the lower spine by sitting down on your heels before you turn around to relax on your back. Eyes open, breathe. Camel pose is tremendous opening in the front side of your body as you backbend the whole spine. We store a lot of energy and emotions in the front side of our body. Be still and allow yourself to observe whatever comes up after the camel pose. Rabbit pose, sasangasana, toes and heels together, flex your feet. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Tuck your chin, suck your stomach in. Inhale, sit up. Grab your toes, double jerk, forehead to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for a rabbit pose. Sit down, kneeling down position in the center of your space. You can put a towel over your heels or you can simply grab the heels with your nice tight grip. This posture starts and ends with the grip. The grip is very important. Thumbs on the outside, fingers on the inside. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your chest, suck your stomach in. Try to exhale, breathing the whole way down. Forehead to the knees, top of the head to the floor. Listen very carefully. Pull on your heels. Lift your hips up. Roll forward like a wheel until your arms and elbows are straight. If there is a gap between your forehead and your knees, walk your knees up one by one. Pull on the heels. Roll forward and lift your hips up. Remember, very little body weight is on the head. You can put body weight in your knees, your shins, and your feet, push the feet down, lift your hips up, pull the belly in, hips up, shoulders up, hips up. Pull to come out. Realign your spine, lift your head up last, release the heels, relax on your back. Keep your eyes open and you're breathing normal. Toes and heels together, flex your feet. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Tuck your chin, suck your stomach in, make your legs solid. Inhale, sit up. Grab your toes, double jerk forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for head to knee with stretching. Bring your right leg out cornerwise. Bend your left leg in. We want 90 degree angle like a letter L when we look down at the legs. Push the left foot into the right thigh. Create pressure there. Arms over your head sideways, turn to the right, grab your right toes. Ten finger interlocked grip, thumbs included. Tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, touch your forehead to your knee. If the forehead and knee do not touch, simply bend your knee to make the forehead and knee touch. Bend your elbows down next to the calf muscle. Now press the left foot into the thigh. Simultaneously pull your stomach in. Lift the forehead higher on your knee, closer to your stomach. Roll into the left. Make your spine equally round over your right leg, like a sideways rabbit posture. Change. Left leg out, right leg in, 
90 degree angle like an L inside your legs. Push the right foot into your left thigh, arms over your head. Turn to the left with your 10 finger interlocked grip. Grab your foot, pull on the toes, flex the toes back towards your face, tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach, touch your forehead to your knee. Bend your knee if you need to. Forehead and knee should touch. Bend your elbows down. Suck your stomach in. Roll in to the right. Change. Bring your both legs out in front of you. Lie down. And do a quick sit up. Grab your toes with your middle and index fingers. Chin forward, look forward, walk your hips back. You're trying to get to the front edge of your sits bones. Walk them back. Lock your knees, heels off the floor. If you're unable to lock your knees, just keep walking the hips back and breathe into the stretch. When the heels come off the floor, then you're ready to pull. Right before you pull, lift out of your waist. Try to use your stomach to create length in your spine. Pull to stretch your body down. This is like a seated version of Padahasasana. Backs of the knees pressing into the floor, stomach in, pull, stretch, breathe. As you inhale, imagine you're creating space. As you exhale, use that space. Everything that we do starts with our thoughts, connecting the brain and the body together. Change. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back. The final posture is spine twist, toes and heels together. Flex your toes back toward your face. Arms of your head, cross your thumbs. Tuck your chin, pull the belly in. Inhale, sit up. Grab your toes, double jerk. Forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for spine twist. Bend your left knee in front of you. The knee, directly in front of the left hip. Bring the right heel over the right, right heel over the left knee corner. Be sure that you're not sitting on your left foot. If for some reason your sits bones cannot reach the floor, you can bring the left leg in front of you, leg straight. Inhale your left arm up, reach up, push the knee back with the help of your elbow, push the knee back, turn your wrist, Grab your left knee with your left hand. Look down, be sure that your hand, heel, knee, everything touch at the same spot. Inhale, stretch your spine up, rib cage open, bring the right arm around your back. As a beginner, you can press the hand against the base of your spine. Inhale, lengthen, look over the shoulder twist. Twist the whole spine from top to bottom. Each and every vertebrae is twisting like a pearl's necklace. As you inhale, lengthen. Notice how your arms can help you. Push the knee back. Wrap the arm around. Look over the shoulder. Twist. Change. Bend your right knee in front of you. Bring the left heel over the right knee corner. Heel touching the top of the knee. Inhale, your right arm up, reach up, push the right knee back with the help of your elbow, turn your wrist, grab your right knee with your right hand. If you're unable to get the grip, 
Just think about getting the grip every day and allow your body to adjust. Look down, hand, heel, knee, touch. Inhale, lengthen, left arm around your back. Fill your lungs all the way. Look over the shoulder, twist. Twist the whole spine from top to bottom. You might even deepen your grip as you twist. Inhale, lengthen, stretch the spine up. Bring the chin to the left shoulder. Look over the shoulder. Use your arms and eyes to help you twist. Change. Turn around. Lie down. Relax on your back. We start the postures, we start the series with a breathing exercise, and we end the series with a breathing exercise. Bring your toes and heels together to touch. Flex your toes back toward your face. Arms over your head, cross your thumbs. Inhale, breathing, sit up. Grab your toes, a jerk forward to the knees, elbows to the floor. Turn around for Kabobati breathing. Sit down, kneeling down position in the center of your space. Place your hands on your knees, all five fingers together. Lock your elbows, keep the rib cage lifted and the belly completely relaxed. With every exhale, pull the belly in. Allow the inhale to happen automatically. No effort in the inhale breath. Eyes open, focus forward. We'll do 60 breaths together. Begin. Acknowledge your hard work and your practice. Turn around and relax on your back. This is final Savasana. Allow your body to be comfortable. Palms facing up. Close your eyes. Scan your body to notice if there's any remaining tension. Let the muscles relax. Let your thoughts relax. Breathe yourself. Here we need no effort to breathe. We can breathe in the way that our body already knows how to breathe. It was my honor to lead you for your 26 postures and two breathing exercises today. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.